everybody and welcome back to another episode of how to do renders and character creation for TEW 2016 with me Scott B Gaming. Yesterday I did a video which uh, I slightly messed up if I'm being honest with you. I did a character first of all and I didn't have the screen set up so you could see it properly so apologies for that but I realised in time to catch the second one so I talked through how I go about creating characters. I'll do it in a little bit of detail as well today because um, a lot of the deep explanation parts that I went into was covered in the first character and that didn't get included in the video I uploaded to YouTube. So it's still going to be carrying on from a similar theme from yesterday. I need to create uh, female renders for free agents, manager renders for free agents and also Japanese workers. Again, all for free agents. They're just the three areas that I feel like we need a few more characters to flesh out the data for the London verse a little bit. So, as you can see, a character I've done earlier. It's very Art Attack-like. Here's one I made earlier. But Basically, yeah, after I finished doing the stream, I carried on and created about eight more characters. But I can still use this as a template for other characters going forward. And using templates for me is key. Now, what I mean by that is I have, in general, say you're creating a male character or a female character, you have to load the model, then you have to attach the morphs to it, so you can like make them fat, thin you know, ugly, short, different nationalities in terms of um, facial structures. You have to apply all of those. So what I did to save me having to do that every single time I wanted to create a character, I um, created base templates for myself. So I've got a basic male template for Michael 4. I've got a basic template for Victoria 4.2, I think it is. Um, I've got a couple of masked templates for male renders. One I use a hell of a lot more than the other one, I have to say. And I have a template for a female render as well. And I've also got one for uh, Genesis Michael 5, I believe. I don't use that too often, but, you know, I've got it in my locker should I need to use it. Um, it just saves basically having to load all the kind of the, the morphs and sets on that right from the get-go. And because uh, I only end up doing the same thing from that point. So that's after that where I start going creatively in different directions. So... Um, I've got a question already, in fact. Um, someone has asked, P.S. Explain difference between poser props and daz props when you have time to do it. Okay, fine. As a general rule, things that work in poser don't necessarily mean they're going to work in daz. That isn't always the case, but it's based on the particular um, formatting of the data, I believe. So certain file types won't be able to be opened in daz. And I found that out the hard way um, on one particular item, which was one click facial hair which is specifically for poser so if you are buying products whether it be from daz or any of the other render like sites like renderosity and share cg to name a couple uh, make sure that it's compatible with daz if you're using daz and if likewise if you're using poser make sure it's compatible with poser i can't speak in terms of if uh, the stuff converts from daz to poser i just know that some of the stuff from poser doesn't quite work on daz a lot of it does, some of it doesn't. So hopefully that's a rough idea, to, you know, to keep an eye out on these things. Um, another thing, another tip that I would give people is when it comes to buying props, try to buy stuff. For example, let's say hair. This happens to be a free one that came with the upgraded DAS, so that should be a standard thing that everyone can access. I try to buy hair props that offer me different options, and I know that sounds stupid, but most of the hair props that are created nowadays give you variation to be able to morph things in a certain manner. Now, try and get things, if you can, that are relatively versatile, so it's not just one set, unless it's a set that you're going to be using a hell of a lot, and obviously, I mean, I'm not saying don't buy these things, it's just a recommendation, so buy something that's um, a long hairstyle and is versatile, medium and short, but try and make sure that they're relatively versatile, because then you've got more than just the three set of hair that you can use going forward. I mean, I have lots of hair props. Some of them can't be edited. Some of them, well, vast majority of them can. So just a little tip there. And um, clothes, I mean, I don't worry too much about the clothes because, I mean, in most instances, if I'm doing like a, a mixed martial arts for a character, you've just got the shorts and the gloves. If it's, uh, for example, female character, you've got the kind of sports tank top setup going. And some of these props here came with other sets because I was looking for particular items and it just came with it and was included in it. Um, and some I, I just, you know, it was, it was free, so I thought, why not? Um, in fact, I'm thinking now, looking at this prop for the jacket, I believe that was free as well. So the only thing I've actually paid for here, apart from the morphs, which is essential, uh, one of the first things I'd also buy if you're using Daz, is, again, I can't speak for the Genesis set, because I don't really use it too much, because I find 
that Michael 4 and Victoria 4.2 is enough for what I need to do. I mean, I might get some other stuff for Genesis down the line and Genesis 2 and whatever it is now. I've been out of the loop a, a little while. Uh, but if you're still looking for, like, Michael 4, you can't really go wrong with that stuff because if you just buy the Morphs Plus Plus and, you know, I think there was um, Freak Morphs as well and International Morphs and get a couple of skins, so, like, textures male and female depending on what you want so you can you know diversify things up and then from there with just that limited amount of stuff at your disposal so say like three hairstyles um, maybe facial hair beard um, m4 beard plus is pretty good um although i will say the beard for genesis for michael 5 it is very good it just requires a little bit of tinkering um yeah you've already got you know the basis to be able to create quite a lot of diverse characters you make fat people thin people whatever and then you've got different ethnicities and hairstyles that you can kind of pair up and you know you've already got a relatively good selection of tools to use right off the bat so that's just a little segue for you I, I kind of mentioned this kind of stuff in the last video but unfortunately it got cut off because I didn't have anything on screen as I was doing it so one thing I will say is that I did change the layout of how the DAS Studio 4.9 um, is set up because the default setup is quite new and alien from previous versions so if you're new to it it's probably not going to be a problem to you but I was so set in the way of using it on DAS, God, it must have been 4.5 or something like that. I don't even know which edition it was at this point. And it was James, though, I can't take credit for this, um, who told me how to go about changing the layout structure. And I can probably find out again by having a little look through here. I'm not going to do it at this point in time. Maybe I'll cover it in another episode when I refresh my memory on how to do it. So as we've got a female character on screen, let's go about... Um, rendering a female character okay so I've already got the light that I use and the light setting I use at the moment is a light setting that Jay Silver created and used and he uploaded it on the forums I believe it was in the WMMA4 render thread I want to say I think someone asked him he said these are two that I use you know feel free to use it kind of thing so I was very pleased because I think his renders are spectacular and they're better than mine for my money but I thought, why not try the lighting and see how it looks? And on my renders, without two to my own horn, I think they look pretty good. So I do. I have a couple sets of light that I use, but th that's the one at the moment that I'm going for. I mean, I'm sure I can try the proper NVIDIA IRA stuff down the line. Um, I tried yesterday, but with the lighting I had, it's, it's not really meant for it. So it didn't kind of look as good as what I was hoping. But let's not do that. I've just deleted the woman. Brilliant. Good start. Okay, undo that. Click on the hair, maybe. Okay, we've got the hair selected. Okay, delete that, and I will delete the jacket as well. So we'll go from this, and then we'll change it. Uh, Rox has corrected me there, sorry, he says, no, it was the TW 2013 render thread, but it is on render Dropbox. So have a look there, because it's a very good light set, and I think Rox actually uses it as well. Could be wrong, might be putting uh, words in the gentleman's mouth, but anyway. So we're going to go to the content library. Um, might as well go for Japanese worker. Actually, no, I'll show. You, I'll go for something completely different and show how you can morph it into something uh, entirely different. So, a lot of my textures that I use for female characters are um, well, I'm not in the right section for a start. So, we go on to pose out of uh, my Daz library content. So, pose, and then we find LRP, which I believe was Liquid Rust Productions. I remember that from a long time ago. I do have other female textures. But most of them were saved in here. And the reason I've got most of these is one, because they look very good. And two, because they were on sale at the time. I think they were uh, at least 50% off everything. So, you know, keep an eye out for the sales as well, because you can get some very good items for relatively cheap. So let's just do one I haven't used for a while. Okay, we'll go for this one. I haven't used this character texture for a while. Make sure you've selected something in the scene. See, we learn things all the time. So I'll click on Isabel Full, and what it should do is override the skin that was there, including the makeup, which I'd had set on. Um, still got the, the look there of the Japanese facial structure. Um, but for this one, like I said, I'm going to change it to be a, a non-Japanese or Asian character. We've also got certain makeup textures. So just as a little play around, I can click on a couple of these. Some are more natural than others. So... This one should notice a relatively big difference. There you go. So you've got the kind of the hooker red lipstick, which I'm not a fan of. Um, okay, so we'll go for a softer look like that. We've changed the eyes to blue. And I'm going to change the facial structure ever so slightly. So go onto the posing and shaping tab. Go onto the shaping subsection here. 
and will start messing around with her physical appearance. So I've already filtered it specifically on the head and we've got like, for example, just to show you what it can do, I've got some male um, adjustment morphs for the female rent, uh, character so I can give her a very, very horrible man face. Like that. And some women do have man face and there's nothing wrong with that, okay? So I'll go here. A lot of the softer a more feminine look, I think, I found it with the Stephanie. I think the Stephanie set there, sorry for anyone who couldn't see it, which is these ones. Um, the generic ones that come with the Morph++, plus plus, um, some of them do go very, very uh, man facey quite quickly, which again, you know, you still need some of them to look a little bit more rugged and butch, but a lot of them seem to go very... I mean, look at that. What is that? What is that? So, you just have to kind of tweak with things. And you can go into the individual structure of whether it's the nose, the eyes, the ears, the mouth, the cranium. That you can, you know, you can mess around with the shape of all things. And just if you have something in mind, you can obviously try and get something to replicate, like a picture, or you know, just Google a random name, see what comes up, and then try and recreate that to the best of your abilities. Just a way of practicing and learning the, the software. So for now, I'm going to give her a little bit more of a smushed face, not quite that smushed. And I think what I also did was, if I recall, I put the face size to be a lot smaller. So, do that, the face size gets bigger. And I also put an angry pose on. So, if I just draw that back a little bit, she looks a little bit happier. Oh, isn't that nice? Okay, so back into the Stephanie set. Okay. I'm going to go into the international face setup which is here, and that's purely because I put on the Asian filter and adjuster. And as you can see, her eyes have kind of gone to be less slanted, uh, but I actually did it further than that and went into the eye subsection and changed the slant there, as you can see, 76.3. So if I drop that down, there you go, her eyes start tilting a little bit more that way. Let's make her eyes a little bit smaller, and we'll put them close to the centre. I don't really have an idea of what exactly I'm going to do in terms of a look or a character. I'm just playing around and see what I come up with. And if I like it, I keep it. If I don't, I carry on until it's something that's more suitable for what I want to do. So, go back here and then back into Daz 3D. In fact, there was, I did notice, some free stuff that came with the Daz software. I don't remember where the bloody hell it was now. I think it was actually in here, my Daz 3D library. It's kind of broken down into a similar setup. Thing. Uh, no, that's the one we just used, the Toulouse hair. There was Daz hair. Okay, that's some of the stuff that's... We'll, go, we'll just try this. I'm not going to attach it to the model. You can do, but sometimes it limits how much you can move it. So I'm just dropping it into the scene, like that. I'm not sure I'm a fan of this look in general. Um... We'll see how we can go about doing it. So we'll go to the posing. Translation. No, uh, not that much. I think it needs to come forward a little bit. Not that much again. Okay. So we can work with that. Let's see what other filters there were. Because I saw on the shaping, it's got a load of stuff that we can change here. So the bangs are quite long. So want to get rid of that a little bit make it shorter there you go you can see both eyes you can move it left and right move it across do a very i mean you can do some messed up things let's be honest with this software okay so i'll just put that back there we've also got so bows bigger i mean we can make the bows bigger there you go you can change the color of that as well I mean, there's a lot of stuff we can play with. Left piggy forward. Well, I'm not. Don't need to do that. Okay, so we can use that. I don't particularly like this hairstyle, but as I've started using it, I might as well carry on. I will then go from there to. I'm just basically messing around with this myself. It's the first time I've seen it. Go back to the loading and creating screen. Now the trick is finding the uh, material that will allow me to change it. It might be under pose. It wasn't Aldora hair, was it? 
Sally May. Okay, so. Sally May hair, there it is. So, we can change the colour of it to what we want. Dark brown, we can go lilac. I mean, we can actually go in there and change things more specifically in the colour. Oh, so, I don't really know. The red hair is a bit of a shocking look, isn't it? About orange. I guess that works. Okay. And we, we've actually got colours for the ribbons here that we can try. So we've got black, blue, lighter blue, gold. Gold works. Actually, green works better. That lime green. No, I prefer the regular green. Might leave it as that. We can also change whether she looks happy or not, because she looks very unhappy at the moment. So if I click back on her face, go to the posing tab, drop down the morphs and expressions and go to base. I can drop her eyebrows a little bit, make her look even angrier. Bit of a squint of the eyes. I'm actually going to go for a smile on this character. So mouth smile open. And then more to one oh, not exactly the best look is it a bit more natural I guess okay got a suggestion to make her like a bubbly baby face she could also work as a manager though don't forget um even though she doesn't have a vest on, her hair would be covering it anyway, so you wouldn't actually see it in the shot, so I might just leave it. But for the sake of argument, I'll go and put one on, because I might use it in the next character. So, go to Poser Formats, to Studio 3, which is where all my stuff is saved. Then in Figures, and I have some set up in Daz... I believe it's Daz Michael... Oh, sorry, not Michael, Victoria 4 Clothing. And then just put Sports Bra on. Don't have too much in in the way of uh, props for clothing. See, look, you can't even see it there, but we'll leave it there for now because I mean we know it's there and we can use it on the next character. So that could work for a render. Hello, standard. Welcome to the stream. Okay, so now the audio quality might cut out when i'm rendering that's just because the computer finds it difficult to stream and do that at the same time but when i upload it on youtube the audio quality will be fine so if it cuts out now uh, in the stream chat don't worry about it hopefully it won't but i can't guarantee that it won't as i said the light setting that i use is already loaded on here as i hiccup And we'll see how happy we are with the end result. Okay, so there you go. That could be a that could be a character for the uh, London verse. So, as far as names, I mean, Sally Sally May could actually work for a name. What are we thinking? What are we thinking for a name? Stan has asked me, do I use custom lights? Um, yes, I do, although they aren't of my own design. Uh, Jay Silver uploaded the light settings he used, and I try them, and I like them. So I'm using uh, his at the moment, 3A, if you've downloaded them. I've been reliably informed by Rox that it was uploaded into the TW 2013 render thread. And it's also on render Dropbox. So, right. And actually, as you guys are here, I'll just quickly show some of the other characters I did off screen. So after the, the lady you saw, we I did this character. This one. This one. This one. This one. This one. This one and the one we started from. So we started with that being on screen and I've edited it to that. So you can see the versatility you can get. Started from the same base and went from there. 
Okay. I think I'm going to go for Sally May. Because it just struck me as a good idea at the time. So we'll name her Sally May. And if anyone's unsure why I put 001 in front, it's because those ones haven't yet been entered into the data. So it lets me know exactly what I work I still need to do. So Sally May's done. Now, hopefully it doesn't bugger up when I save the character, but if I go to save as, and I save the scene, so if any reason down the road I need to make any amendments or do any alts, I've got the actual, the entirety of her character saved. So it's just going to save her, and then we'll go from there, and we can do another one. I don't have in mind how many characters I'm going to create in this session, I'll just, you know, probably do a couple more at least. Okay, this is the bit which usually takes a little while. Um, so maybe do one or two more female characters and then maybe move on to another area. Okay, so there we go. Now I'm just going to work from this one and create another one. So delete the hair. You can see there that the sports bra is now in shot. Go back to scene. And we'll change the texture and we'll, we'll go for an entirely different kind of look again. Just to show the diversity. So, go to my LRP things, which is where the bulk of my female textures are stored. Do have some male ones in there as well. Okay, we'll go with this one. So, again, choose something in the scene. I keep forgetting that after you delete the hair. Choose the character. Hit the Mimi texture for full. And then in a second, there you go, the pigmentation is changed to a different colour. Now, make her eyes reflective. And let's go for a light brown look. So we've got, again, different makeup settings if needs be. go with that so we've got some darker eye makeup and some of these um well the textures usually come with the morph as well but some of them look atrocious when applied for example boom what is that we're looking at golem meets voldemort so we'll undo that and i'll just manually tweak the gal's face myself so go back to the shaping tab to Stephanie 4, we'll take some of these ones down, which I used for the last one. Okay. We'll go here to the full head. Let's see. Okay, so I'm just tweaking things to get a different look. Okay. And posing wise, I'll take the smile out of it because it's throwing me off a little slightly. So we'll close the mouth as well. Okay. There it is. Close the mouth back up. Okay, we already have a very different looking individual there. Okay. Right, so let's go. There was another hairstyle that I have, which I came with the software and I haven't used yet. So let's go and have a look at that. So that's the content library. My dad's library, which isn't the stuff that I usually use. Um... Charm hair, I'm pretty sure that was it. So drop that there. Default load, I don't want to attach it to the character because that hair prop is actually what the sh that's an interesting look, isn't it? Okay. Let's see if this can be fixed or if this is something I need to play with off camera. Well that is I don't know what that what? It's still attached it to the freaking okay. Delete. Try that again, shall we? Making me look like an ass. Okay. Default load. I don't want it to attach to. There you go. Better start. 
So now I just need to find exactly the link for the charm hair. I found it. That was quick. Okay, so let's see what we can modify it with as well. I'm just going to try different colours. Don't like that at all. That could work. Platinum. Not a bad look. Mix peacock. Don't know what that is. Mix frozen. Interesting. Although interestingly. There's more stuff down here, and it will not let me go down. Oh no, so that, that is the last one there. Okay, Praline. That's, um... Okay, I like Praline, turns out. We'll go with that. Now let's see if we have the ability to morph this at all. Possibly not. Sometimes I have to fight, link it directly to the head, otherwise it won't allow me to morph it. Sometimes it's irrelevant. And in this case it looks irrelevant, so fine. This is one that can't be edited. But, but my friends, we can um, we can style it out, we can peacock it out a little bit with other stuff. So let's go to my props. I'm actually going to check to see what props came with this, which is free. I don't know what an alchemy chasm is, but it sounds quite painful. Mm, don't know what that is. Melee weapons, excellent. Um, don't mason, that's going to be nothing. So, go to figures. That's clothing. K4, that's... Hmm. It's probably going to be a weird look, but I now need to see what it's going to look like. Okay, that actually works. Does she need glasses? What else could we add to this character? I mean, I could add glasses just to show you. We'll add glasses. We will add glasses. So go back to my studio stuff where I know where everything is. And I know it is in props. I have quite a few sunglass props. Um, one of the more frequently used for the female character is. Stylin M4 is some, uh, has got some glasses, but they're not the ones I usually use. Sunny Delight props. His shades, her shades, so it might actually more suit the um, his shades one to be honest, but we'll go with, with these ones for now. I do have other regular glasses as well, to be fair we could turn these into glasses if needs be. At the moment they're resting on her head, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop them down. So Rotation, X brings them forward, Y is going to drop it down. So. I mean, they're on her head now, they're quite big, so I'll scale it down like that. I'm also going to change the structure ever so slightly. So rotate like that. And I'm still going to drop the Y scale a little bit. And what we're going to do, go to surfacing. Now this is where we could mess around with a little bit more of the textures. So I'll click on that. The opacity is why it's kind of going, you know, a little bit of a weird texture. If I had to put that as none and then take that off, you just got regular brown rimmed glasses. So let's go test a couple of colours. See I could put white there change that to be white as well which is a bit more color coordinated and actually while I think about it change that to be goldy color go with the I don't know what to call it a choker maybe that she has on okay that looks like it could be a render to me so bear in mind that the glasses are going to create shadows 
we will render her. Again, apologies if the sound quality dips out while I render. But for the YouTube upload, it will be fine. There you go. Just nothing like spectacular about the render, relatively generic. I mean, if we wanted, I was tempted to dye part of her hair, change the angle of the camera a little bit, which I might actually do for the render. So go for the render again. There we go. So we have another render. So we've did that character. I've uh, got a couple of different angles for that one. I'm going to go with the latter. Character name, people. What are we thinking here? Addison. Just a random ass first name. Addison. Style. Okay, there you go. Addison style. Absolute nonsense, but we like it. This isn't a tutorial on how to name characters, just to make that abundantly clear if it wasn't already. Okay, so I'll save that. Save as scene. Addison style. Karen. Actually, she does look a bit like a Karen. I think this because I nearly used the styling glasses that went for style as the surname. Okay, and that's that done. That was a very quick save. Okay, so we go back to the central. We will delete the ha. We'll delete that. And we'll use, again, a different skin texture. Let's go for a black lady, I think. Okay, so I have a couple here. I actually have more than... Uh, I'm trying to think what the other ones are saved under. We've got this one. It's called Cherry Cola. I didn't name the skin, skin textures before anyone jumps on me for that. I think that's the only black female texture I have. Uh, is there one more? I, I had one more, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, I also do have, I know Babs is one. That seems to have gone walkies isn't it, rice? Oh, there it is. Babs, well, yeah, we'll go for Babs. So we'll select the texture. Hit that, there you go. What's out of interest, what does it look like? Well, oh God, that's well, that is a decision I shouldn't have done. Edit, back up. Um, not liking any of these. Okay, let's reset that. Okay, let me change the head structure again. Take the smile off her face actually first by going into the poses. Face. All about the base. Take the smile off. Okay. Nose is very pinched. Okay, going to change the nose size. Actually, what I could do. Okay, then I'm going to go into the mouth because they're a bit big. And I 
Now for size. Well, the width I want more narrow. Yeah, that's a bit better. I wanted them a bit thicker. So, I think I'll bring the ears a little bit out. Like so. LRP and SAV do amazing content. I would agree with you. Okay, so let's put some hair on this young lady. Actually, was I going to do anything with the eyes? Actually, I like that. That works. There's tattoos. Interesting. Okay, there we go. Um, I will then... See what hair... So, I mean, I've got a lot of hair props, if I'm being honest with you. don't really know what I'm going to do here. Whoa, actually, I've had an idea that I'm not sure I want to go ahead with now. It's difficult being inside my head. Could go with the Evan hair. I don't know if that's the look I want to go for. Might do actually, might stick with that. So, change the colour so it's darker. Yep, that's cool. And let's morph the shape around a little bit. So, got a few things we can do here. I want it to be longer in general. Might not have passed that yet. Yeah, there you go. Length long. So two. Um, I kind of want the front bits to be more back. So, left back. Maybe about there. And then what else am I going to do with this character? Could put a headband. To be fair, I quite like her like that, but tweak around a bit more. So let's go see what we can find to use in my props. Go for a prop. Which is a weird sentence to say out loud. Go for a prop. Put a hairband on. Then I want to move this. So drop it down. Move it forward a little bit just so the hair's not going through it. Scale. Up there. Move it a little bit to the right. There we go. I want to change the colour of that. I don't know what I want to change the colour to, but I want to change the colour of that. Maybe a goldy colour. Yeah, that works. Quite happy with that. She looks menacing, I will say that. She looks very menacing. And welcome Zero Knee in the chat as well. Might go for a rendering just to see if I want to change anything about her. Okay, need to move the hairband back a little bit or take the shadows off it. So what I'm going to do is 
move it backwards a bit. Hopefully the hair. Okay, so there. That should be better. Okay, let's think of names for this lady while I render the character. Still looks a little bit out, doesn't it? When it doesn't look bad. I mean, it works. Quite happy with it. Just as a comparison, let's see what she looks like with the other ladies. So, we've done the one character there, which was just absolutely out of nothing. That character, and then this character. She almost looks like a kind of good Tamina snooker. I don't want to go for Tamina. Something of that ilk. Relatively powerful name. Mm. Trying to think, it's really difficult to think of a powerful female's name when put under pressure or putting yourself under pressure like I am now. Helga keeps coming to mind, but that's a bit too German for a start. I don't want to have to go for Tamina and then change it. Teresa? Teresa could work. Teresa, and no, don't anybody say green because I'll lose my. Cool. <laughs> Teresa Bold. That still sounds. Yeah, well, fuck it. I'm going with that now. Teresa Bold. That is absolute NXT back in the day name changing quality. Teresa Bold. Teresa Pride. Yeah. Okay, so we'll save as. Copy the name in. And there you go. So I'm thinking I might drop that as an episode and do another episode right on from this, but split it up, otherwise, it's going to be too long of a video, I think. So, created three female characters. I'll now go on to do either three Japanese workers or three managers. So, I'll just let this one finish saving. Like so. And that's going to bring us to an end of this episode. Hopefully you've you may, maybe learned a few little tips and tricks on how to do rendering yourself. And if not, I hope you've just enjoyed the video in general. Created three female characters that will be going to the London versus free agents. Um, and you can see I built all three of them based on the same model that I had there. Um, like I said, thank you very much for watching this video, guys. Uh, if you have any specific requests that you'd like to see me cover in this series going forward, let me know in the comments section below. And be sure to make sure that you be sure to make sure, just make sure, yeah, that you like this video and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you very much. Until next time, I've been Scott B Gaming, and I'll see you around.